Hi everybody, it's the Intuitive Healer and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Taurus. Alright, so let's go ahead and tune your energy, Taurus. And today I'll be reading from five different decks. Um, the first one will be Ask an Angel and then we have the Dragon Oracle. Sun Moon Tarot, Moonology Oracle, and then our favorite, the Romance Angels. All right. So I've went ahead and pre-shuffled. For those of you already who haven't, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please hit that bell so you'll be notified when my new videos come up and you'll be the first to receive them. So I've already picked an angel card off the Ask an Angel deck, and that's Archangel Raziel, and that's the Divine Mastery. So very, very lucid card there, um, just kind of really talking about your mental energy. So you're kind of in a mastery part of your life. And then I also did pick a dragon card here. It says, Pure White Dragon from Orion transforms your ascension knowledge into pure wisdom. Process what you know, act with truth and honesty, let your wings of light grow and expand. So another really, really good card there for you, Taurus. All right, so I'm just going to kind of feel into the energy here. I'm kind of getting a, a little um, notion that there's some things that you're trying to handle right now, Taurus. And I think that you really have this idea that they're a little bit too hard to manage. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, um, right on key here. So this is a person moving into a situation where they're really, really trying to maneuver things, trying to manifest things, trying to organize things. So lots of overthinking right now, Taurus. Maybe too much worry is what I'm gathering here as well. So let's see. Ascended Masters, Angels and Guides. All right, had to pick that up. Oh, we got some really different kind of in energy here. Worry, Five of Pentacles. Well, all this overthinking um, has caused you to worry. Maybe worry about the past, worry about the future, worry about what's happening right now. Then we have the power card, which is the four of pentacles. That energy right there to me is really trying to overstate yourself. You know, when power comes up, either you've lost your power or you're trying to gain your power. But in this case, we have a worry in front. We have disappointment behind a five of cups. And that to me is really really you kind of wanting to manipulate the situation maybe um, try to gain power over a situation but for all of that meddling Taurus or somebody else's meddling here for those of you guys that are male or female, cross watchers, anyone that this is resonating with, I feel like this is kind of folding into an ending. And so as, as the story goes along here, I think that there was a power struggle here. I feel like the, there was some major disappointment that happened after that power struggle. Maybe that person couldn't control the situation, whether it be you or the other person, uh, Taurus. Maybe it's like you had to... Just be okay with what happened. And we have the disappointment card here that comes in and is like that self-reflection that's like sitting back and like, oh, why did it happen like that? Sometimes things have to happen the way that they do for the lesson, for us to deal with that emotion. 
from whatever we're projecting out there in that quantum field. And then there has to be a point where it's too much. It can't hold, it can't sustain itself. So Taurus, just understand that, yeah, some things have to be so hard. It just is. Sometimes we asked for that stuff to come in hard like that because maybe we knew we were stubborn. Sometimes a lesson comes in for somebody else that we know is stubborn. Might not just be you, might be them. Let's paint the picture here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull all cards and we're gonna go through these. So the very last card that I picked here is the Six of Pentacles. And what I'm kind of, you know, seeing here is like, okay, as we talk about the story moving through here, at least we know that the very last thing <laughs> is it's happy, okay? So as I turned over the deck, I saw the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man to me is you moving into an energy of transforming, an energy of you taking a different direction. And so we have pretty much thinking about too much stuff here, Six of Swords, and we're going into too much worry, you know, or not enough worry. And we move into this power card with the Four of Pentacles, and this is trying to gain power over a situation that maybe we felt powerless in, which created some toxicity, which brought us to disappointment. Five of Cups, self-reflection, looking into the past, thinking about what happened. Where do we go? Where do we go wrong? Okay. It's not in alignment. It's not in alignment. If the screw is too big, you can't fit it in the small hole. That's how this works. Some things have to come to an end. The devil, as above, shall be low. Backs are turned to each other. Time to let go. Because we let go, Taurus, what happened? Well, we had to transform, heal, let go of control, go with the flow of things, move into a better energy, move into a bit better state of mind, start manifesting our desires again with the Queen of Cups is a very powerful energy, comes in and says, I healed. I managed everything. I'm happy with myself again in the present moment. When the vibe goes up, the door is open of opportunity. Three of cups. Okay. Abundance comes in. This is a multifaceted card here. This could very well be a third party situation from the past. Three of cups. Or... On the flip side of things, this is major friends coming in and helping you gain abundance in your life or being there to share in your happiness, okay? Because happy's coming, Taurus. Money's coming to you. Justice is coming to you. For somebody in the past that did something to my lovely Taurus, well, there might be karma to pay here, especially with those loving Tauruses. You guys are nurturers, male or female. You know how to nurture the feelings and take care of the broken bird and mend it. For that reason, higher selves are usually involved in care and concern. Those that go against that care and concern sometimes have a karmic lesson to learn. So then Taurus always goes back into the past and says, uh, that could have been better. How come I didn't act right? How come I didn't act right? 
How come something didn't change? How come things were the way that they were? Get out of the sorrow of the past, Taurus. Free yourself from this stuff. Three of Swords says, let go. Don't keep going in that, dibble dabbling in that sorrow over there. Stuff hurts every time you do it. You need to learn your lesson. Taurus. Transition. Transform. Allow yourself to be in these spaces here of abundance. Energy of the Queen of Cups. And then in the very end, you decide that you're going to change things. Six of Pentacles. Success comes walking in the door. Abundant success. Mmm. What a beautiful recipe. Just saying, Taurus. All right. So I think I'm going to pull a couple more cards on this. Um, I feel like there needs to be something said here. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but at the same time, like, I'm nosy. I want to know. Do you want to know, Taurus? Let's find out. Ascended Masters, Angels, and Guides, let us have a little bit more of a sneak peek in what this path looks like for Taurus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so, yep, King of Cups. We got love coming in here. Ooh, because we dealt with the strife from the past, and then, oh, looky here. Lovers lovers oh my so yes you had stuff going on there was too much fighting from that past relationship in the past that's what happened there that's why there was worry disappointment person felt powerless somebody was trying to take over power new situation has happened because we decided to sever all ties and in that situation to greet regain our control in ourselves and up our vibration, start putting ourselves first, start taking care of ourselves so that we had abundant success coming in. The devil card, we end that situation because we understood that there was too much fighting. There was too much. It was more than you could handle, Taurus. And you know what? Not your path. Create closure because we got a new significant other coming in look king of cups queen of cups lovers hmm interesting need i say more we got the lovers card king and queen sacred partnership thank you devil card for severing ties with the past so that this energy can come in Woo! this looks hot and heavy and abundant and dang I'm loving it. All right. This is great, Taurus. So, you know, I think because you've ascended so much, I got to put the lover's card up here and the king and queen just so that we can be mindful of these cards. It's very, very beautiful energy here. All right, let's go to the moonology cards. So just to put that out there for you guys that are interested in getting a personal reading with me, all my information is in that description box below. So you have the ability to book easily and get a little bit of guidance on your own life. All right. So we have Believe in the Impossible. So a really beautiful card here because I think that you didn't think that this love was going to come in the way that it is. Well, and that's okay. You know, sometimes we are in a situation of disappointment from the past that we can't see an open door for the future. We can't see the love that's about to step right in. We can't believe in the impossible because we don't think that it exists because we're in sadness. All right, so I almost dropped that card there. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. All right, so really, really, again, moving into more of a situation where love can enter. Love can take precedence. Love can be the number one 
force in your life that's guiding you. Because I know that you are lovers, you Taurus. So even the cross watchers watching this, like, you guys are lovey-lovey, okay? And you need that love because that's how you feel and that's how you receive and that's your love language. We got emotions are running high. Super moon energy comes in to save the day. Yahoo! Sometimes, Taurus, even though you're an earth sign, got to get a little emotional. Come on now. Sometimes it's good to get into those emotions and deal with them. Can't always be stoic and you know, have this capacity of stubbornness to always overtake those emotions and not, not feel them or not deal with them. So, my lovely Taurus, I just want you guys to know, well, it's okay to be in a good, loving situation. Sometimes it is very possible so be open to it. Conclusions are within reach. So again, we have another situation here that's really talking about, well, possibility, opportunity. Taurus, you deserve it. Taurus are just like always like, no, it's okay. I won't have it. Here, let me give it to you. You guys, come on now. Surrender to the divine. We've got some full moon energy that pops right in here. And we got two more eclipses this month. Ugh. This is going to be some heavy stuff, right? All right. So, surrender. Nothing is set in stone. No, because things are still transpiring behind the scenes. He said, I want to fall in love. And I want this to be a meaningful love. I want this to be a love that is a great experience for me. And that magnetized something universally with your higher self and started drawing in that situation, that experience. Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, you guys need to find some peace. Even if it's going outside, being in the garden, maybe touching the dirt, mowing the lawn. You know, getting outside a little bit, breathing some air, even if you're not one of those people that can sit there and be quiet, because everybody always tells me, they're like, Dawn, I can't, I can't just sit there and be quiet. I don't meditate like that. No, you can find other avenues of doing this. You know, look up mindfulness techniques, and those can help you as well. Heck, I have a, a client that she's like, when I meditate, I'm cooking. Nobody bothers me in the kitchen, and it's just a meditative thing. Whatever your, you know, forte, whatever you fancy, do what you love. Hold your vision. Fix moon. Yeah, Taurus. So, I mean, here's the situation. It's like somebody just said, here is the platter of love for you. Accept it. Be open to it, Taurus. I don't know. Sometimes things get a little weird when it comes to ending a situation and then going to another situation. You know, there are these possibilities within us that really speak to, well, I'm going to say... allowing yourself to charge up into a higher consciousness so that you can receive man we get so stuck in this past dark space we're like oh this happened this happened this happened we let this define us over and over have faith in your dreams waxing crescent moon have faith in your dreams somebody has to right yeah have faith in those dreams. Have faith in a, a higher truth here. So that you can create this magical life that you're always dreaming about. Hey, if you're not open to it, it's not going to come. 
And if you keep dreaming about this past that was toxic, well, it's just it's just not going to come. You know, we have to take ourselves somewhere else. We just have to. So I say just allow yourself to be in a more positive space. Allow yourself to be in a happier vibration. Here, let's pull another card here. I just, sometimes I got to sit here and just get into the emotion of this because all these messages come in and they're just like, push this person. Nothing will come of the situation. Ooh, somebody turned my music on. All right, so... lovely lovely thing having faith because if you don't have faith nothing's gonna come so it's almost like you have to stand at the door and say okay i'm ready to receive the energy is gaining momentum see there's stuff charging up here behind the scenes taurus All right, a new romantic cycle begins. Woo-hoo, here we go. That's what I said, Taurus. So, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love this. I love it when love just comes in and is like, here I am. Show the world the real you. Let those magical love and vibes that you Taurus have. Let them come through. Let them, um, no, let other people feel that nurturing that you have within you. Don't be pulling back because the situation from the past wasn't good. Step out of your comfort zone. We got the North Node. So, yeah, creating some magical energy here. I'm going to pull one more, and then I got to get into the love. I'm going to waste no more time here because this looks like mm, something's coming good. Something's coming. Prosperity lies ahead. Boom. Here we go. So, that to me is a confirmation again. We've got some romantic stuff happening here, Taurus. Got some abundance, got some good career opportunities. Maybe we possibly might have, you know, for those of you that are waiting for a payout or wait, waiting for a situation to arise where maybe you were waiting for a loan to go through. Maybe you were waiting for somebody to pay you back. I feel like there's going to be some type of situation where you gain a paycheck. Or you gain a, a sum of money that you really need that can help you out at this time. All right. So I do feel positive, abundant, prosperity energy coming in your direction, Taurus. And it's going to be beautiful. You got love. You got money. You got everything. You got it all. You got it all, Taurus. Be happy. Be enjoy. All right. I'm going to get into love here. Split these cards three times. All right. Here we go. Pay attention to the red flag. So I'm going to say this card right here. There are signs here saying do not go back into the past. Stay out of the past. Let go of the past. You know, um, let that stuff go. There's an energy cautioning you to stay away from that because there's a new situation here in sacred partnership that's coming in. Need to stay out of the past. Taurus, let go of it, please. There's better coming here. There, you need to make space for the love that is in alignment with you rather than, you know, go back here into the, the nonsense of fighting and all this other stuff from the past. All right, I want better for you. 
let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. I believe that, you know, um, while we had the sun and moon tarot kind of, it denoted a little bit of control stuff going on there, you know, the power, power struggle. So again, let's just breathe through this and transmute taking a deep cleansing breath here Taurus sometimes it's too much sometimes we got to just sit back and just let go surrender know that our heart's been in the right spot that we really deserve this beautiful beautiful life All right, we got romantic feelings coming in. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Mm-hmm. Yep. Ooh, romantic feelings. Going to get all lovey-dovey and stuff, Taurus. All right. Okay, so we have wedding. Mm-hmm. Boom. Just said it. Sacred partnership. We are getting to commitment here. This is going to flow hard. Ooh, this is like... You get to love hard this time and not have to worry. Ooh, dang. Ooh, look, a little honeymoon, a little retreat, maybe a little mini vacation, maybe going away for the weekend. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, you got somebody like wanting to get to know you, wanting to be with you. Like, hey, who are you? Let's get away. I want to I want to know you. I want to understand you. I really, really want to be with you. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So there again, you release the past. The ex, that energy, that situation, you came into a place where you could forgive yourself. You learn from the past. And now you have this opportunity for a committed partnership. Because this new person's like, you are mine. I want you. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I think the person from the past and you maybe had different belief systems around love, maybe different belief systems around career just maybe in general okay ooh i'm going to pull one more card here maybe a couple more cards let's feel this out a little bit cuz i like the way it's going lovers romantic <laughs> cycle wedding oh my okay yes yeah, so this is this is kind of just validating all this stuff there was deception in the past from that past person Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So that's that was the hard, heavy lesson is that you knew this person was just dis deceptive in a lot of different ways. And that's why, you know, you were trying to take your power over, like trying to control them and, and I don't know, maybe shift them out of being deceitful. But they are just that way. So you just kind of had to pull away and end it. All right, so this new person's going to create some attraction here. You might have romantic love by enjoying your moment fully. So lots of romantic stuff coming in here. And I think that this story is going to change significantly for you, and you're going to be able to shift that energy into more positive, Taurus. This could be the one. Boom, I think it is. I'm going to pull one more card here. You already met the romantic partner you seek. Mmm, it's wonderful. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So again, really feeling 
into balance in all areas of life, dealing with things that need to be handled. You know, and we know our Taurus is like, I'll be on it, you know, so they can have some downtime, right, Taurus? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. The situation is calling for you to have faith and trust. You can trust this person, Taurus. This one is saying, you are my baby. They are making you theirs. Okay? All right. So thank you so much, Taurus, for allowing me to do your video today and you know there are good things coming sometimes it's just us believing and trusting in something higher than ourselves that allows us to take that precedence and you know um it just draws in the good stuff it just does so please like share and subscribe to my channel make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when my new videos come up and as always i love you my taurus if you're looking for a personal reading or to contact me all that information's down there in that description box below i love you so much taurus and i can't wait to hear all about your new love namaste